What makes bridge runners or bridge running different? We share the bridges, we, we share the streets, but we, we often travel the roads less traveled. It was back in the summer of 2004. It was too hot in the daytime, so we had to start running at night. So run clubs have been around forever. Difference is we started crew running. I met Cedric. I convinced him to join me, and since then he's just been, you know, my partner with recruiting people and sort of being the street ambassador. If, like, you're from the outside looking in and want to be down with the bridge runners, uh, I can tell you this. Bridge runners is a crew that never runs alone, and a crew is like a family. People that just balance life. It's super important. That's the word we always like to use, balance life. Are we ready? We ready? Everybody got their Metro cards? Oh, we're gonna do it old school. So every Wednesday is a freestyle. I told him we're gonna take this side, because the side at least has the market. We're like based out of Lower East Side, and then people come from everywhere. We never map out the run, because every week we have a Bridge of Gap event. We call it Bridge of a Gap event because there's always somebody from another country in our runs on a Wednesday. But Bridge of Gap is just all these crews that started around the world. It's like a responsibility, like you have to make sure you take care of your runners. When you meet these people, you see like the, the vibe is so positive. We don't take uh, running too seriously, but we are serious runners. With wrist runners, we don't know where we're going and we don't know the distance, but we are ready for everything. Every night is an adventure. Let's do this. We're night striders. We're always in a run in the night. We're like crazy outlaws. We're jumping gates. So if you're like, you know, like a little softy, you probably won't want to run with us. Yeah, I was reading this article about how the last memories before you die are just random memories, just random things that pop into your brain that you didn't even realize meant something to you. But the philosophy could. I think that when that moment happens to me, I think I'm going to remember seeing the skyline, you know, running over the bridge. Every single Wednesday, I have something to look forward to, and it's an activity, you know, running nine miles with the group. There's almost no part of my life that Bridge Runners isn't a part of. I've been here since I was seven years old, and I never really saw New York the way I've seen it with bridge runners. Mike and Cedric are, they're, they're our leaders. If it's your first time running, if you run every day, or um, if you're just picking up running, they'll, they'll welcome you. My runners, I think they're inspired by just the routes. I think the routes and, and the people. I'll be finding things or say so fine things that you're like, I've never seen this before, you know? Like, let's do this. Come on, hit them hard, hit them hard. We're looking to make it better because we want people to get inspired. The Bridge Runners is just one of, of many crews, right? Of one big BTG family. But recently I realized that we really bridge runners together. You know, it was always about what's on the other side of the bridge, right? You know, what kind of little, you know, juice bar or taco stand or something can we find, you know, explore these neighborhoods. Um, and now it's much bigger than that. Most people just kind of want to run and just get it out of the way. But Bridge Runners, we kind of really take over this city. If the boss, you know, goes hard, people are going to go hard. It's really important when he goes hard, and he always does. So people, like, um, get pushed by that. So bridging up is when we kind of get to the end of the bridge. Cedric kind of runs back, and then just tell you, sprint it in, sprint it in. So you're just going full speed into this group of people. We're about to go. I'm going to stick back. I'm going to go in front. Let me go in front. At the garbage, you guys in a sprint. Stay back, stay back. Give me, give me. Everyone's just cheering for you. And you kind of feel like you're finishing, like, a race or just something monumental. But it just feels really special, and everyone's really inviting because of that. And if it's your first time, I think that's one of the magic things that really catch you with the group. I do this only for my runners. I do this because I know that at the end, I know people are gonna be like, but remember, these guys put us on. It's really authentic human interaction. It just happens to be that we do it over running and then hanging out after or before. All right, guys, we got some hookups here today. We got some boo. 
I want everybody to just continue um, building these crews around the world. Um, we started this not knowing this is going to get this big, obviously. Nobody thought it was going to get this big, but we want it to get bigger. So it's one thing to be the first crew um, and to sort of lead the movement, um, but it's another thing to stay the leaders, and, and that's what we always try to do, right? Our job is to inspire people to run because it, it, it only takes your feet, right? And so, you know, that's our goal. And, and I think that's happening, you know, every time, every Wednesday night. You have to come to Bridge on us uh, to experience um, what, we, what we offer. Expect the unexpected. People say, do you mind being compared to Forrest Gump because he was a bit, you know, different? And for me, I'm like, I love being compared to Forrest Gump. Inspire people through running. If that's who I'm being compared to, then compare me as much as you like. When we return to Going the Distance, presented by Sketcher's Performance. <laughs>